Alright guys, let's dive right in and learn how to properly write checks using QuickBooks Online. Before we get started, you'll need some check stock to print your checks. Check stock can be purchased online using a variety of vendors including QuickBooks, Amazon, or Vistaprint, but you'll need that check stock in order to print checks. Today we're going to be using QuickBooks test drive company Craig's Design and Landscape Services. If you uh, search QuickBooks test drive on Google or any search engine you can use this example company to make adjustments and not have to worry about making mistakes in your books it's a great powerful tool that most people are unaware of but it's kinda of fun to test things out before you do them in your actual books alright back on topic let's print a check so from the dashboard here you're gonna select the new icon and then select check under the vendors column. Next we're going to fill out the required information and print us a check. First we need to enter the vendors information. If they are already listed as a vendor then we can select their name here. If they are not listed as a vendor then we'll need to set them up and you can do that right here. For this example, we're going to be using Cal Telephone as our vendor. As you can see, their mailing address populated because they're already set up as a vendor. Next, we're going to select the bank account we want to pay from. Here, we select the checking account and make sure there's enough funds in this account to cover the check. We do not want to be writing hot checks. Next, we'll need to enter the vendor's mailing address if it's not already populated. Then add the payment date. QuickBooks will automatically use today's date, but that can be adjusted. Next, you can select the check number. If, um, if you're wanting to print the check later, you can select um, the print later box, but we're going to print the check right now, so let's deselect that. All right, we're almost done. Here we go. We need to pick the account in which the expense is going to be categorized. Since this is a utility, I'm going to select the utilities and telephone account. You can add a description if you like and then enter the amount on the invoice that we're going to be paying. Since I'm not purchasing a product for resale, I don't need to select that the transaction is billable or taxable, but if you are purchasing inventory for resale, that's where you will select that option. You could also select a specific customer if you're making a purchase for a specific customer. Since we're not, we're just going to leave that blank. You can always leave a memo here, which is always a good idea. The more information, the better. Or you can also attach a copy of the invoice if you would like to do that here. All right, now we are ready to print. So select the print check from the option in the center of the black bar right here. Now we need to align our check stock with the printer. So first we're going to select the type of check stock you purchased, then print a blank piece of paper from your printer with the sample check. You will need to hold up the sample check paper against your check stock and make any proper adjustments or alignments if it's off at all. Um, and you can do that right here. Once you finish setting up and you are ready to print, so you just load the check stock into your printer and hit the print button. And there you have it, it's that easy. You are ready to print checks and uh, make your vendors happy. Hope you learned something and enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this video.